Yeah, I don't even think I used a ration either. <laughs> nice. I was about to, though. I was pretty close. But I think that's it, though. There it is. the van. Over there. The children. She'll be coming to search the van. I'll take care of it. You stay here. Keep watch. I'll contact the children. Here. Take this. Snake. Come back in one piece. I will. Uh, promise me. Okay, so we've been through this before at Metal Gear Solid 3, so we gotta use the cure option. Oh wait, <laughs> it's not in this game.
fall to the surface! Let your fury flow freely! Anger begets anger! Come on! Show me your rage! Damn it, and I'm still not healed. Alright, well, yeah, let me just use a ration. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna use a sniper for this. I don't think the pistol is gonna work too well in, uh, in this battle. Or the shotgun, because she's mostly flying. So yeah, let me go to that. Here we go! I just gotta find her. Oh, the hell she comes in here? Thought I had it ready. Oh, it's not even her. Oh! Wait, I think I remember I would actually go all the way upstairs. All the way to the top. Then from there I fight her. Oh, God. <laughs> what was it? Wait. Or maybe it was down. Nah, I don't know. I'm just gonna go upstairs. I think it might have been all the way at the top that I would go to. There she is. Oh, and these little bastards are here too. Let's see if I can take a couple of them out. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, there's a song. Wait. Oh, it's over here. I'm up here. Oh, another Metal Gear Acid song. I think she stops for a second after a few, uh, a couple spins. Oh, no! There we go. Oh, really? She hadn't seen me? <laughs> God damn it. What? I only got two bullets? Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to call or buy something from Drevin. If he sells bullets for that. Yeah, he does. Yeah, let's buy. I think that should be good. Or, uh, let's make it 52. <laughs> should be more than enough. Flying things. Oh, there she is. Uh oh. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. Now what? Oh. I think I want more want to run when she does that. Or when she screams like that, I mean. Or never mind. I thought she was going to shoot like a bunch of missiles. Wow, she missed. Oh, God. I'm taking another ration. I'm not taking the chance here. Shot of her right there. Oh crap! Yo, she's making me nervous, and also those little drones that are flying around too. Don't they eventually do something? Oh, there you go. I had to open up my mouth. I just had to say something. Ah, oh, let me get. 
good shot here. There we go. Oh, whoa! Let's walk right into that. Oh, crap! Yo, can I fall off of this? <laughs> oh god, I hope not. Oh god. Damn, I'm moving around. Stay in one place, I can shoot you a bunch of times. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for earlier. Come on. Come on, baby. Nope, don't kill him. Leave him alone. It's just an old man. Oh, we almost got her, though. Oh, crap. No, that's not her. Wait. Nope, that wasn't her. Oh! Should've zoomed in. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No! Oh, they didn't get her? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did I fall off? Oh, I thought I fell off. Right there. Oh, almost got her. There we go. Nice. Man.
All right. You guys know what time it is. Snake, she's come out of her suit. Watch out. She's going to try to grab you. Yeah, that model that she's based off of, uh, she actually looks pretty go gorgeous in real life. Actually, all of them do. All right. Uh, well, which one was it? Was it this one? Yeah, there it is. Here we go again. <laughs> All right, let me go upstairs and get that statue real quick for uh, before we uh, start the photo shoot. Wait, can I actually shoot her a bit? You know, before we go into that little sequence where we have to uh, do the photo shoot. Oh god. <laughs> what the hell? Is she doing that? <laughs> well, I guess so. I don't think there's anybody else here. Alright, I think the statue is on the top floor, I believe. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, man. Raging Raven doll. Yeah, yeah, this is the right song, right, guys? Oh, shit! She's already up here? Oh, gosh, she's walking faster. <laughs> just, uh, put down her stamina a little bit, just in case. Just in case I run out of time during the photo shoot. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I'll leave it at that. It is? Okay. This song. This song is great. Oh, I'm trying to spin around. I didn't do it before. I kind of had it there, but. No. Damn it. She wants a hug, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, she'll dodge your bullets like Neo. <laughs> Pretty much. So it takes about three minutes for it to start then? I believe somebody said that yesterday. I wonder if I get another trophy for doing the photo. Oh, there we go. Kind of got it there. Rage with me. Oh, I can do a little bit of damage? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to leave it at that just in case. I'm not going to shoot her anymore. Not yet, at least. We'll shoot her both ways. Photo shoot and... Uh, then we'll shoot her in the face with a tranquilizer. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do a shotgun instead. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Salad Monday? <laughs> I'm just doing a little Easter egg right now. Yeah. We're going to do a little photo shoot with the beauty here. Yeah, she's going to dance too. Oh, here we go. Oh, she gets her stamina back. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. That's why. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys said yesterday. This happens because Japan, right? Yeah. Because Japan. Oh shit! All right, I think that's. I think she's done now. So um, hold on, let me go back to the shotgun. All right, I got 20 rounds. Oh crap! I still have to reload. What? She dodged that too? Oh, damn! That did a lot. Damn. All right, one more should do it. There we go. Ah! Oh, the photos. Fuck. I forgot.
Way to bring that bird down, Snake. Drebin. And you got yourself a souvenir, too. A grenade launcher. Nice. That's a real user-friendly weapon. Not much use to me without an ID, though. I laundered this one free of charge. What's the catch? Only that you give it to me when you're done with it. A weapon with that many decades of rage stored up inside it? Now that's a collector's item. How old was she? I'd say about 20. But she had years of soldiers' rage hidden away in that youthful body of hers. Soldiers? Yeah, the soldiers of Ake. A place that hasn't seen peace in a long, long time. She was captured by one side or another, and kept caged up like an animal, along with God knows how many other kids. Anonymous violence. Exactly. It's unknown whether her captors were with the government or the rebels. In any case, they got their kicks by abusing these helpless little kids day after day after day. That constant barrage, that battlefield rage slowly built up inside their bodies, their minds. The kids tried to keep each other's spirits up, always clinging to the hope that someone would come to their rescue, barely surviving off of scraps of food. But those soldiers didn't stop. They called the kids parasites and shit-eating ravens. Beat them even harder. Then one morning, the soldiers just up and left, leaving the surviving kids to be eaten alive by the birds. Almost like one of those sky burials. One by one, their bodies were picked apart by ravens' beaks, until finally the flock came for her. But by some miracle, their beaks cut her bonds instead. And like that, she was liberated. But in that instant, she was filled with an uncontrollable rage, and it smothered her soul. She ripped the ravens pecking at her to pieces, and then went after the soldiers. And when she finally caught up with them, she waited until nightfall like a hunter awaiting its prey. They say that when a raven cries, a man dies. And that's exactly what happened that night. Screeching and cawing, she killed every last living being in the camp. Both the soldiers and the civilians they'd enslaved. In her eyes, there was no longer a difference. The cruelty her friends had suffered. The pain and humiliation she'd endured. Hers was the distillation of the rage that decades of war had imparted on those soldiers. Hmm. It was her strength. And her greatest weakness. You're something else, Snake. You managed to cleanse Raven of her rage. No, seriously. You're the seed of war. In fact, I'd say you might even be war itself. Draven. Maybe it's still too early to tell. You've still got half the B&B core ahead of you. Keep your eye on the ball, pal. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I got a little distracted during that part. <laughs> I forgot to take the photos. But, uh, yep. We should get that at least, so that's good. And we also got the the figurine as well. So we are good to go with that. Yeah, I believe we get the, the sun gun or something like that, right? Alright, time for another cutscene. I have to apologize. The three vans that came out with us are decoys. Uh, the real one is floating down the river, headed downstream. I managed to get in touch with the children. The Pix is safe. We're going to rendezvous on the riverbank downstream. Land and air routes are off oh, but there's a cruiser waiting for us the Volta River is our only chance of escape oh, let's get out of here hurry good thinking uh, oh, oh, oh. Follow me. Uh, 
I don't need to feel the wind anymore. There's no need to keep lying to myself. I only get off my bike when I fall in love. Or... Oh, snake. Give me a hand. Yeah. Uh, 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 the underground aqueduct leads to the river. There should be fewer of them down there. Yes, let's go ahead and save. Yeah, because we still got quite a bit to go through here. Cutscene-wise, I mean. Liquid. Not bad. Where's the pigs? <laughs> that no longer matters. Where is it? Everything. And now, thanks to her, I finally have it. The thing I've sought for so long. Big Boss. Put down the gun, Snake. It's already too late. You almost did it. But it looks like I win after all. For one last smoke. Huh. You think you're a big boss now? <coughs> oh. Guilty as charged. But all that ends today. <coughs> comes to CQC, I've got the upper hand. Uh, even if you do get a hold of the system, you'll only have one part of the Patriots AI. 
The military part. What of it, brother? It's only a matter of time before I have everything. <laughs> Remember, GW? The AI they think they lost? It's mine. I'm a part of my army. Impossible. We destroyed it. Your worm only managed to cut GW into little pieces. Pieces we were able to reconstruct. And then we stowed it away inside JD's network. This man's body has served me well, allowing me to pass every security barrier between me and GW. After all, the Patriot system is nothing more than a machine. Now that GW is a spook inside the network, there's no way JD would recognize it as an external threat. Once I destroy JD with a nuclear strike, the Patriots network will be mine. And then, I'll build my haven, free from all forms of control. I'll cast aside my old identity and take my own name for the first time. Created by the Patriots. We're not men. We're shadows in the shape of men. We're freaks who never should have existed. We're a sister. Insurance that future generations never prosper. The Patriots saw fit to create us, and in doing so became our only raison d'etre. I won't fight my fate any longer. I'll kill Zero and Big Boss. And become a patriot myself. It all began with Zero and Big Boss. Our purpose in life is to fulfill our destinies. And once all is returned to Zero, the world can be reborn. we both live, the world will not know an age of light. If we're to pass the baton to the next generation, the only choice left to us is death. for you to witness. Witness our moment of triumph.
Put your hands up! is mine! Your guns and your weapons are no longer your own. Behold! Guns of the people!
Give up on me. Don't 
Don't go. Meryl. 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 It's not, I mean... are no different. Scorched shadows born to the world. When a beast steps into the light, uh, uh, unless the light is put out, the shadow cannot be erased. So long as there is light, there is shadow. To return everything to normal, the light must be extinguished. And when that happens, you will be too... Like I said, we pride ourselves on service. Come on, let's take this guy to his friends. Yeah, even though these cutscenes are pretty long and insane, there's they are pretty epic though. Okay, so yeah, I guess the kills carry over from between acts, so I'm still at five. Thirteen alerts. No continues. Flashbacks. Damn, 124. We're already eight hours in. Holy crap. Alright, let's go ahead and save and I guess um I think we should be starting the next briefing, I believe. Sorry, 
launch a stealth nuclear warhead at JD. I thought you couldn't control the nuke with GW. We can't. We've taken over their guns and heavy weapons, but the WMDs are still under JD's control. That's where Rex comes in. I know where to find nukes they don't control. Vamp, how long until Rex is ready? All that's left is the final check. We've identified JD's location through GW and abandoned 20th century satellite orbit disguised as debris. A clever place to hide. Hmm. Satellite orbit. With a stealth nuke, there's no need to worry about the Patriots intercepting it. By the time they realize what's happening, it'll all be over. Once JD, the core AI is destroyed, GW's priority will rise to one, and all the systems under JD's control will then be ours to command. Now go, prepare our haven. Yes, brother. <laughs> what the devil is this? Video feed from the Mark II cuts off here. Haven. Yeah. Drebin was saying something about that. Come. In the beginning, the Patriot system was controlled by four AIs, with JD at the top. One of those AIs was GW. The Patriots thought it had been destroyed, but Liquid was able to use it as cover to slip inside the system. GW was one of the Patriot Cell AIs. It was installed on Arsenal gear. Emma's worm should have put it permanently out of commission. But Liquid somehow recovered and repaired it. I'm guessing JD must be unable to recognize GW, even though it's inside the Patriot system. It's a blind spot. GW was written off as lost while it was still tied in. Using it let Liquid interfere with the AI from the inside. He made contact under the guise of Big Boss's genetic code. Even the AI threat detection system was fooled. A haven on the network. From oversight by the Patriots' AIs. <coughs> it all makes sense now. That's why they made Arsenal go berserk five years ago. GW was on board. Where is this Haven? <coughs> Where is their base? <coughs> Don't worry. Mei Ling is using the position of the Mark II's last transmission to predict the course of Liquid's ship. It's only a matter of time before we find him. <coughs> but that's not all Liquid said. It's something about Rex being ready. Rex? You mean... Shadow Moses? <laughs> It's Campbell.
the U.S. military's systems are all in Liquid's hands now. The regional systems have all been shut down. Guns are falling silent across the Earth. It's the first total ceasefire in human history. How's the White House responding? The public? The President has yet to make an official announcement. But the media is starting to pick up on it. <coughs> the information's gonna be controlled anyway. Not this time. The war economy is ground to a complete halt. It's tough to play down a crisis of these proportions. War economy-related stocks are already going into a freefall. <coughs> they must be shitting themselves at the White House right about now. <laughs> In any case, America had better sleep soundly while she still can. Liquid's insurrection is about to begin. The first thing he'll do is try to destroy the system that Patriots built to control the U.S. He's already taken the system. No. Supreme Authority still resides with JD, which the Patriots still command. Which is why Liquid plans to launch a nuclear strike on JD in its orbit. But Liquid only controls SOP. And SOP only controls guns and small firearms. Unless he gains supreme authority, Liquid can't use America's nukes and ballistic missiles. So how's he gonna launch this strike? <coughs> Good question. The U.S. converted its nuclear arsenal to reliable replacement warheads two years ago. RRWs. Yes. The core of the RRWs is now completely ID-controlled by the SOP system. You'd need supreme authority from JD itself to control them, and they can be shut down remotely in case of an emergency. All the old nukes were pulled out of service when they deployed the replacements. If Liquid can't use the nukes, then... And what's his plan? That's it. He's going to use Rex. What? Rex was scrapped before the Sons of the Patriot system was implemented. Of course. The Railgun. Indeed. Rex's railgun can launch a stealth nuclear warhead into space, unconstrained by the system. In short, it's the only device they have that is able to launch a nuke. Liquid's going to use it to kill JD and deliver the coup de grace to the Patriots' reign. Campbell, where's Rex now? I think you know. A long-forgotten base in U.S. territory outside the Patriots' control. The place where Liquid made his debut, his monument, off the Alaskan coast in the Fox Archipelago. Shadow Moses Island. <coughs> if Liquid destroys JD and his GW assumes total control over the system, He'll have the world at his fingertips. And no one will be able to stop him. Not even the Patriots. You are the only ones who can save us now. Snake, I'm counting on you. Defeat Liquid and put an end to his insurrection.
Enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. I'm not dead yet. That's not what I mean. You can't beat Liquid. He's got the Patriot's own control system on his side. Not only are weapons useless, but the U.S. military is in shambles. And even if it weren't, Liquid's got enough men and machines to match it. Things can't get any worse. Face it, Snake. We've lost. Otacon. We never stood a chance. It's not about winning or losing. I... No. We started this. this 
I have no future. In a few months, I'm going to be a weapon of mass destruction. You... You have a family. I have no family! My fight. My destiny. <laughs> Dr. Emmerich? Mei Ling. I got the results back. It's official. He's on Shadow Moses Island. We lost Metal Gear Mark II's signal along the way, but the ship was headed in the direction of Shadow Moses. This is a picture of the island taken by a civilian imagery satellite. The sea line is rising due to global warming. Have you heard that the entire Fox Archipelago is about to slip into the ocean? The surrounding islands have already been evacuated. Hmm. Liquid's arrival there can only mean one thing. He is going to use Rex. That's how it looks from here. All the Metal Gears after Rex were embedded with system IDs. Then what about Rex? What did Washington do with it? The nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses hasn't been touched since the incident. That was nine years ago. The president of Armstech and the DARPA chief were killed, and the secretary of defense was arrested. By the time the Shadow Moses incident was over, there wasn't a single person left there who knew what took place. It was as if nothing had ever happened. The data was either falsified or erased, so no traces would be left behind. We were exiled to desk jobs for the same reason. Rex and the nuke should still be where they were nine years ago. Untouched. A forsaken island. A haven. Well, I'd say it's more like a forgotten island. <coughs> and it's sinking too. I thought I'd never go back. It'll take me a while to get there, but I'll be backing you up from aboard the Missouri. She's the only ship in the fleet still able to move, since it was decommissioned before the system was put in place. And why is not that far away? Otacon, you're not wearing your glasses anymore. Oh, I... yeah, I, I switched to contacts. <laughs> we rendezvous at Shadow Moses. Submits to heaven shall live. He who defies heaven shall perish. I have to atone for my past, too.
Rex is a beast. Born from my research. Let's go. Shadow Moses awaits. Time to go back where it started. All right, so we got the Lunar Knights main theme, and that's it. Not much. All right, let's go ahead and save here.